In 2017, scientists detected an object that was moving through the solar system that had a peculiar appearance. This odd visitor, which we have given the name Oumuamua, came within a month's distance of the sun before it was detected by our radars. At that point, it had already begun its voyage across the cosmos, racing away from our solar system as it did so. Particularly due to the fact that it was the first known interstellar object to visit our solar system, its arrival attracted enormous intrigue and attention among the general public. The unexplained acceleration of the object as it approached the sun prompted an astronomer from Harvard to consider the possibility that it was an alien spacecraft. However, scientists have just discovered an explanation for the behavior of the interstellar traveler. Why then did Oumuamua experience an acceleration unlike any other when it was so close to the sun? Did it in fact have any connection to the civilizations of other worlds? In conclusion, and most crucially, how will this research shed light on the mystery surrounding the origin of the heavenly object? Oumuamua captured the interest of astronomers due to the fact that it possessed a number of unusual properties. To begin, it was an odd shape, assuming the appearance of a long, slender cigar that could reach a length of up to 400 meters. This particular shape had never been seen before in any other comet or asteroid that was discovered in the solar system. Second, while it orbited the sun like any other asteroid or comet, it was spinning like a bottle on its side, giving it a peculiar appearance that has never been seen before. Astronomers decided to give it the name Oumuamua since it was the first known visitor from another star system. The name Oumuamua translates to a messenger from a far arriving first in Hawaiian. It came from the direction of Vega, which is 25 light years away and is one of the brightest stars in the night sky. The velocity of Oumuamua was far higher than what was predicted by the principles of classical mechanics, and its behavior could not be adequately explained by gravity on its own. In addition, unlike a typical comet, the object did not appear to be composed of ice nor did it release any gases. Even the solar energy that it was exposed to was unable to account for its peculiar acceleration, which led to the hypothesis that it was being subjected to a force that was not gravitational. On the other hand, the origin of this force could not be established. Researchers started coming up with a variety of different Genesis theories as a response to this mystery. The idea that Oumuamua was an extraterrestrial spacecraft equipped with a light sail to harness the power of the sun's rays emerged as the most intriguing of these various hypotheses. Researchers from Harvard put out the hypothesis that the object was a slender disk designed by a technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilization to traverse the Milky Way. Despite the fact that the results of this theory matched the data that was available, many people found it difficult to believe the idea that Oumuamua was related with an extraterrestrial civilization. As a direct consequence of this, other theories that were more grounded in nature and were easier to eat and understand were presented. The term cometary outgassing refers to the process that takes place when a comet gets within a few astronomical units of the sun. This causes the comet's surface to expel gases and dust that have been heated by the sun. The coma and tail that can sometimes be seen orbiting a comet are often the result of this process. The outgassing of gases from the comet's surface results in the comet being subjected to extra pressure, which in turn generates an additional source of acceleration. This is analogous to the way in which the thrust of a rocket is provided by the exhaust gases. The issue, however, is that this phenomenon only accounts for a portion of the acceleration that was seen in Oumuamua, and the outgassing that it underwent was distinct from what is seen in ordinary comets. In the year 2020, astronomers put forward the hypothesis that the acceleration of the object could be explained by the sublimation of molecular hydrogen. In the process of sublimation, a solid substance undergoes a transformation that causes it to directly transition into its gaseous form, bypassing the liquid phase entirely. 
However, because molecular hydrogen neither emits nor reflects light, it is extremely difficult to detect using typical spectrographic techniques. This is one of the factors that makes the detection of molecular hydrogen so difficult. Because of this, it would not have been feasible to detect the presence of molecular hydrogen even if the extrasolar visitor had been exhaling it into the atmosphere. When another research showed that it was exceedingly implausible for Oumuamua to be a molecular hydrogen iceberg, things became even more complicated. This was due to the fact that the freezing conditions necessary for the production of such icebergs did not occur in the region where Oumuamua was found. In light of this, the issue arises as to how it may possibly hold hydrogen under such unfavorable conditions. In addition, assuming hydrogen was present, how could it possibly be sublimating in order to account for the acceleration that was observed? These were some of the many mysteries that surrounded Umiwamua, which researchers were putting a lot of effort into trying to understand. Astronomers went back through the data that was accessible to them in order to have a better grasp of the strange behavior shown by Umiwamua. They were taken aback when they uncovered a seemingly simple rationale for something that had previously escaped them. Irradiation is the key to unlocking the mystery of the solution. Ionizing radiation has the ability to divide the water molecules that are present in an object, which results in the production of molecular hydrogen. It is feasible that a situation analogous to the one described above is taking place with this celestial object. According to the model that was developed by the researchers, Umiwamua was most likely an icy planetesimal when it first began its trip. It was irradiated at low temperatures by cosmic rays when it was moving through interstellar space. Nevertheless, it was heated up as it traveled through the solar system because of these rays. Experiments have demonstrated that when solar rays warm ice, the ice undergoes a transformation from an amorphous structure to a crystal structure, which causes hydrogen gas bubbles to be expelled from the ice. This process might be able to explain both the reported acceleration as well as the sublimation of molecular hydrogen that was found on Umiwamua. The model that the researchers developed suggests that the acceleration of Umiwamua is caused by the ejection of hydrogen bubbles which were created by the crystallization of its ice as it came closer and closer to the sun the majority of the hydrogen that is created as a byproduct of in-situ processing of ice is shown to be retained within the water matrix until it is heated to temperatures ranging from 15 to 140 kelvin. Assuming the rock has a low conductivity profile, these temperatures can be achieved anywhere from 50 to 250 centimeters below the surface of Umiwamua. As the figure in the research report demonstrates, however, in order to get a better thermal conductivity, the needed temperatures must be obtained at depths of approximately 8 meters or less. Although obgassing is a phenomenon that frequently occurs in comets, the acceleration effects that are connected with it are essentially imperceptible for comets that are several kilometers across. On the other hand, due to Umiwamiwa's little size, molecule outgassing has the potential to impart a force sufficient to result in a noticeable acceleration. Therefore, one of the best natural explanations for the behavior of the first interstellar visitor is that it behaved in this way. On the other hand, this might not be the last word. Avi Loeb, an astrophysicist who hypothesized that Umiwamiwa was an alien technology, has a different viewpoint regarding the surface temperature of the object, and a paper has been submitted that outlines this viewpoint. It is currently hard to get a closer look at Umiwamiwa because it is both very far away and moving at a very fast pace. Only the facts that we already possess can be relied upon at this time. However, in the future, when we may have the ability to study other objects demonstrating similar acceleration but without a coma or tail, more outlandish theories may develop to explain Umiwamiwa's trip and origin. A groundbreaking discovery in astrophysics was made relatively recently by astronomers. They discovered evidence of the earliest stars to shine in the universe, which was a piece of information that researchers had been looking for for several decades. If you were unable to watch this program, you must make it a priority to learn about this fascinating breakthrough. Alright everyone here is where the video ends, thanks for watching and see you on the channel again soon.